Hello, uh, welcome to a very quick video. Um, this is going to be a video today on mechanical filters. Uh, it's very late, so again, I'm sorry if it's a bit of an ASMR video, but I've got to be quiet, else I will wake the lady. Um, yeah, mechanical filters. Um, they're a very, very handy piece of kit, but there's something that not many people know about in the game, or people have heard about but don't understand what they are, and genuinely it's probably one of the most common questions that I get asked on every stream at least. So first of all I should probably explain. This originates back to way back when, uh, back in 1st of April uh, last year. And this was created by PVD. Uh, he wasn't necessarily the only person that was tinkering with this at the time. There was a lot of people doing lots of different things with pipes and plumbing and there wasn't really much to the game back then so people were getting very creative with this sort of stuff but PVD is, is the guy that I normally credit with the mechanical filter and he's the, the initial person that really showed me the idea um, but what it basically is is just a simple simple yet genius way of filtering gases by using a bridge and a valve and all we're really using here is the priority on a, on a, a bridge um, if you imagine, as, it, as it's labelled here, this is your main pipe that your gas are flowing down, and then you put a bridge on here, and this is your filter input. Okay, this bridge will pull packets of gas from this pipe, providing there is space in this section of pipe here for the gas that's trying to be brought in. Um, the, the way that this works is that this valve is going to be set to a very small packet size and will essentially fill this pipe with tiny packets of gas, meaning that the only gas that can come into this loop through this bridge is what you put in this pipe, okay? And everything else that flows out of this side will just be the remaining packets of this gas, okay? Sounds... Sounds more complicated than it actually is. I will show you in game in a minute, but just to credit some of the people that were involved in this, we've got PVD, who was the main dude that really came up with this back in the day, but there's a lot of forum veterans and original, you know, early day forum guys on here that were contributing. So we've got Fat Mice, um, we've got, uh, I'm sure Saturnus is in here. Yeah, Saturnus, we've got Kasua. Kasua's actually done like a, an extended version of this using two bridges to give a bigger packet size and things like that. So it's a really, really interesting idea that's been around for ages, but it has been archived on the forum. So I'll provide a link to the, um, to the actual forum thread so you can reference it. I've actually got it bookmarked. That's how often I, I have to uh, look at it, to be honest. It's it's very, very handy. Uh, but what I've done here, just to illustrate this, I've set a little, a little room up. And um, what we've got up here is a mixed room of oxygen and hydrogen. And then what we've got down here is a few different variations of the mechanical filter. So we've got the original one that we just saw there, which is very simply a bridge going to a pipe network that's connected to a valve and then a valve sending the uh, a pipe from the valve sending the gas on its merry way and then we've got the doubled up version which basically allows us to do larger packet sizes so instead of one bridge we've got two so it can handle twice as many um, twice as many 500 gram packets and then we've got a super compact version which is something that um, Saturnus and Meximus were actually showing me on a stream quite recently. Uh, basically a double bridge setup, but super compact. So probably best showing you this without the icons over the top, but it's super small and really efficient. So the first thing you need to do when setting up these mechanical filters is prime your system. So the, the gas that you actually want to filter out. So I've mixed two gases up here, oxygen and hydrogen, basically simulating your output from electrolyzers, which is probably the most common, common usage for this early game. Um, we've got oxygen and hydrogen up here, and this is going to be what we want to filter out. We want to filter out our hydrogen. So because of that, the gas that we need to pump into these tiles here is hydrogen. So in this chamber, I've got a little bit of hydrogen. If I turn on this, this pump and these pumps, the first thing we'll do is pump some hydrogen in. Okay. Now, these valves have all been set to one gram. And what's going to happen? The hydrogen is going to come along this pipe. It's going to hit this bridge. Same with this one here. And it's going to go into the valve, at which point it's going to come out of this side as a one gram packet. And some will go on its merry way as well. Okay. Now, because I'm in debug, what I'm just going to do is quickly nip off this bridge a second to allow me to prime the other one above as well. Okay. And what you'll see, the only, the only thing currently in the system is hydrogen. So, can't really demonstrate it too easily yet. But what you will notice is on this bridge here, 
we've got 500 gram packets on this pipe and on this one over here we've got 999 gram packets that's because basically in a pipe the most you can transfer at any one point is one kilo of gas okay we're sending 999 gram packets because one gram is being stored up in our little pipe network here and eventually one gram of a miscellaneous gas would go down this pipe so it isn't a completely perfect system um, but i'll explain more about that in a minute but once we prime these systems what i'll do i'll just put this bridge back in here um these are now all primed so i can turn this off okay and we'll just speed this up a little bit so once you've got these single grams in here, these are all just one grams of hydrogen. These will just keep rotating forever. These will keep circulating because our, our valve is keeping it flowing. This can never go wrong now. The only way this can go wrong is if another gas enters from this side of the pipe here. And to prevent that, you can actually put a bridge on this pipe because this is the input side of your valve, okay? So putting a bridge on this side means that no gas can come back into there, okay? So when you're bridging into your main output pipe, this is where we want our hydrogen to go. So we'll put a little bridge on there, okay? If I now toggle this pump on, I'm pumping a mixture of gases. So we've got oxygen and hydrogen coming in here. And um, we'll just let this build up a little bit. And then we'll toggle on this bottom pump first, for example. You'll see now that we're getting oxygen and hydrogen coming through the pipe. The hydrogen has instantly gone into this first bridge okay the oxygen will bypass and it'll bypass here as well and it'll go on its merry way the hydrogen is coming up this pipe because this bridge can only send hydrogen into this tile because this valve is keeping it filled constantly okay and that's the premise it's as simple as that it's a little bit fiddly to set up but genuinely once you've got it set up it's it's idiot proof it's beautiful okay so that's how that would work this other one below, uh, on the left here, sorry, is the exact same principle, but we're just using a larger packet size. Okay, so we've got two pumps that are trying to merge packets when they can, meaning that our bigger packets of hydrogen are going up here and oxygen's going on its merry way. As I say, with this build, very occasionally you'll get a single gram of the incorrect gas um, can bypass the filter, but to get around that, you can just literally, if we just get rid of this tile, you can put a valve in here and throttle your flow to 999 grams, for example. Okay. If you're trying to run like a completely clean system and you can't possibly have any, you know, uh, the wrong gas coming through this pipe, then I throttle it to 999 and then it just simply can't happen. You'll only ever get at most 999 grams coming through the side. And that's that basically. Now, the reason this works, I've just, again, I did explain in the, in, earlier in the video, but the reason this works is because of the priority of, of bridges. So in case you're unaware, a bridge will always take priority on a line and it will keep doing so until it has nowhere for the gas to go. Okay, so we can watch now. Oxygen will flow through here until this vent overpressurizes. The oxygen will build up and then it'll go to the next one. And the same will happen here. And the same will happen here and so on. With that in mind, you must always make sure that your output pipe is clear, otherwise this won't work properly. You need to make sure that these, this bridge has access to send the stuff, um, otherwise it will bypass it and go into wherever you don't want it to be. So they're the only caveats really. If you're trying to keep a perfectly clean system, put a valve in and throttle the flow. With this system, it'd have to be 499 grams in theory. Uh, with this system, it would have to be 999 grams. Um, and also make sure your outputs always have somewhere to go. If they don't, then what can happen, if we just nip this off here, eventually you'll notice that the gas has nowhere to go. These pipes build up, these pipes will build up, and the hydrogen will start bypassing the system, as you can see here. Okay, so the hydrogen has nowhere to go in these pipes, and now we've just contaminated our room, for example. So that's that. I hope that helps. This video is probably going to be a bit longer than I anticipated, but it's something that gets asked a lot. So any questions, please do uh, comment or come and see me on Twitch. Uh, but other than that, thank you very much, guys. Hope that helps. Much love. Bye. -bye.